Today I'm going to explain the concept of perspective and the vanishing point and what types of perspectives we're going to deal with. It's very important in drawing. This is actually when it solve the problem of two-dimensional space, which is the paper, and create a three-dimensional space on it. First is the vanishing point. Vanishing point is when two parallel lines are meeting together on a spot on the horizon. And that's the last thing our eyes is going to see. It'll help us to create correct realism and also create depth in our drawings or paintings. Before the Renaissance, there was only one method artists used to just use their eyes to judge everything. But until the Renaissance, one of the Italian architect, he just said, hey, hold up. There are rules to this. And he created those perspective rules that we use it today. Understand the perspective. I know no one tried to talk about it because it's just a kind of get complicated, but I will simplify it for you. We have two types of it one point perspective and two point perspective and i will show you in a drawing let's do it so this is a two-dimensional space and let me show you how to create the illusion of depth so this is a horizon you create a horizon and then you create a vanishing point let's say it's on the horizon somewhere and that will determine the corner of how we view uh, specific scenes. If you put it here, this is gonna shift everything to the right, and if you put it here, you shift everything to the left. And you create uh, lines here, so this is a line here, and a line here. As, as you notice here, those are two parallel lines that go to two different directions and now this is where it help us to figure out the scale of things so this is the horizon these are two lines going this way and two lines going this way when you create let's say this is a building here And there's uh, another building here and another one and another one with this method it will help us to literally create the depth in our drawing okay we can use uh, like a pen this is simple shapes this is one, one point perspective. This is another. And as you can see here, the scale is correct and we created that depth or illusion of depth because really we creating here a, th a three dimensional space on a two dimensional space we can go into the vanishing point the vanishing point here when everything is vanishing uh, you can create another line here let's say we have an additional store on these buildings so when you create this line Now we know how it works. You just add to it all these parts to create a, a depth. The same thing when you use to design perspective, it helps you to draw rooms, houses, everything uh, related to dining rooms, external uh, locations and scenes that will help us to determine the scale of things. So let's say we're going to create a room and uh, this is a horizon. 
line and let's say the point of perspective is going to be in the middle okay and here line here it's a as you see here it's just one one point of perspective now inside let's say there is a wall here in the front of us and that's inside the room so literally when you add that point is going to be determining the other walls because this is one wall let's end it here This line should be lined up with this. And th this here, you can erase it later, but this is just to give you uh, an idea where things are. If we erase this, Okay, you see, you see how correct the perspective is. Um, the same, same point here. If you you want to create, let's say, a bed here. So you need one line here and one line here. Let's say the bed ends here. Again, just erase the extra lines. So notice here, now we are in a correct perspective. Let's say somebody is standing here. So if the, if the person that length from the point of perspective the one point in the middle that person if he was standing here will be that tall and from here will be that tall and if he was here will be that tall and I think now you've noticed the the reason why we create those lines to actually help us determining the scale and size of things and makes it feel three-dimensional. Now I'm going to show you two points of perspective. So let's say it's, it's here. Okay, and it ends here. You use two points of perspective if you have two angles. If this side was facing us, you don't use another uh, point of perspective because it's frontal to us. But if you have another corner, let's say there is a, another point here,
now you can see what happened now building it just go to a different direction and when you erase these will give you this is the front and this is the back and when you add shadow that means sunlight goes this direction you can create horizon and when you add you know tree same thing this is another point which is here that will determine this size and if it comes here the tree is going to be this size and here and, and here you you increase the size when it comes in forward it's going to be bigger goes away it's going to be smaller Let's say there's a tree here it will be that size sometimes the points of perspective can be outside of the frame of the page for example if I want to do a building here looking at it from a corner it can go like that I don't see the ending point here but again this is still uh, the same concept the lines are and the location of the point on the horizon line it will determine the view angle on the drawing let me show you let's say this is this is your frame you want to draw something and you said okay the the horizon line is going to be here well, if you put the vanishing point and those lines weren't too big, then it's going to push this area very far. All you need to create one building here. Let's say the wall started here and end here. Okay. So that, that's the point that indicated the size. If the horizon line be here in the bottom, and you said do it at the lines here, and you create a building here, then the perspective the perspective of this now pushed things down. You control the angle. Horizon line, it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle of things. It can be in a lower section or in the top section. It depends on what you're planning. So if it was in, a, in the top section and the streets coming this way, you maybe want to do uh, something here like a beach by the by the road and it's okay and if it's in the bottom you're gonna show more from the top maybe a higher uh, taller building and and again they have the same this is the vanishing point here and they're gonna go you know taller buildings on top of it it doesn't matter where you put it but that will determine the composition of how you build things just a quick recap so you have a you have a horizon line and you have one point you can't put it anywhere you want uh, and that will determine uh, the scale of things that we draw let's say this is a a cube here but if the cube here
it will be that side. And if it was here, it will be that size. And it goes further until you don't see it, until it vanishes. Now, if it's uh, two points of perspective, let's say this is a point here, and this is a point here on a horizon line. And the cube in the middle at a corner position, not facing us like this. It's at the corner, okay? So this line come here from this vanishing point to this vanishing point, this is the two points perspective. Create this line here. All right, now you end the walls like that. And I would create that cube in the correct size. If the cube was here, what do you do? Okay, you need another vanishing point to that object because it has another face. So, same thing. This is a horizon line, this is another point. And you create it uh, to show us the depth of things. And then when you add a shadow, of course, it will create it very clearly. This will help you drawing a lot of uh, landscapes, dining rooms, bars, interior design, houses, even regular paintings when the objects are very important for you to put it into a perspective practice, uh, add more points, add, use the one point first, then add two points to more complex, and then three points, four points. It's up to you, but that will determine exactly how things are looking from distance. If the car here, the car here is gonna be this size. And if it's here, it's gonna be this size. And that will help us uh, showing the scale and creating the depth in three dimensional environment i hope you like this video please practice and i will see you next time